and welcome to this next video and this one we're going to be talking about um, users uh, before I go on to the next part for the alarm code uh, reason is we need to set the users up first because of notifications that we're after so given that what we need to do is open up the browser window and then type in our IP address as, as we normally do, log in. So, right. right, once we're in and oh, I've added a sensor as you can see, the door sensor, but the magnets moved away. There you go. Okay. Um, as we can quickly see before we go on, the outside light has turned on uh, because of our sunset timing programs. So, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn them off and I'm actually going to disable that scene and disable that scene. See how quickly you can disable scenes just by uh, flicking a switch without having to go into the scene again. And if you remember as well, we had our motion sensor triggering the light as well. Motion sensor active, light triggered for 30 seconds. Uh, again, I'm going to disable that for now um, as we don't, I don't need it because normally you'd have your own sensors, dedicated sensors because of this demonstration. Um, I've already put one of each in. So I'm going to disable that scene, turn the light off um, and that's it. I'm going to leave the day daytime and nighttime running. So at least the variable still can continue changing as that we may utilize somewhere right, later on. But for the time being, we'll disable them. Um, let's go into configuration and then we have access control. Access control is the page where we can add and remove users. At the moment we've got the super user which is what we've used to log in and here if you click on the edit icon, pencil icon, you can that's your email and password so here you can actually update it with your new email and new password if you wanted to. The pin number here is uh, whatever we set way back and again if you do decide to change it you can change it from here. The good thing is if you forget it it doesn't matter. As long as you know your username and password to log in you can just come in and just change it to uh, any number that you want from here. So and just then hit the save button again. Okay. If you borrow send notifications it's always yes. Um, you want your, your notifications. Uh, mission critical ones so things like um, you know batteries are running low etc uh, or if you saw some of those you know check boxes for fire alert and things like that um, GPS put that no because it does use a lot of battery power on your phone um, because this can utilize the GPS location to run scenes but the good thing is it works well the bad news is it kills your battery on your phone so we always just leave that in no mode as you can see here, mobile list is all blank. It's because we've not logged in using a mobile phone just yet. And this is where the data will appear. Um, user phone names and everything will appear there. So for now, I've updated the pin, so I'll just save it. And we'll say we'll add another user. And that user's login will be, uh, I don't know, uh, I've already done info, so let's say, um, I haven't got a, another email address, so I'll just make one up. Sale at Yorkshireautomation.co.uk Oh, sorry. Um, you don't need an email for that one. For that one, you can just create any old user. So let's say admin, and we can create a password. So let's just put any old password in. And at the same time, then we put the email address in. And that's it, click on save, it's done. So we've now created a new user called admin and with a password and an email. Again, here, pin number. You can give them a, a unique pin number as well if you wanted. Um, so if they want to, if they're disarming any sensors, etc., And if they ever want to arm anything, so you know, you can set, if you don't want them to do anything, you can set the pin yourself. Click on this box, 
That means they'll never arm the sensors by themselves. Uh, again, notifications, do they need them? That's up to you. You just tick the boxes. This part, access rights. This is the important bits. At the moment, if I log in with admin and the password there, I won't be able to see anything. I won't be able to do anything. And the reason is because these ad, ad, the access rights for both devices and scenes are, dis are disabled. As you can see here, they're not allowed to do, view or interact with anything until I give them rights access to. So that's one of the reasons why um, you can give that to your spouse, partners, kids, what friends, brothers, sisters, whoever you want to give, and then just give them specific actions. So for example, let's give them just the outside light and uh, and they can view, see the temperature in the front room. Say, that's what I want to give. In scenes, at the moment, the scenes are all standard running scenes, so we don't want to give them any scenes and access, so we just hit save. So as you can, now, if ever I log in using admin, that's all they can see. And as an example, watch, uh, let me just save that first. But this time I'm gonna log in as the, the new username and password I created. And remember, I already gave access to two items, the front temperature and the outside light. But as, as you can see, no access to any other devices. Click on scenes and there's no scenes created. So good method to give access to only certain areas of the uh, of your home center rather than give access to everything just by creating a new user and editing rights and access rights. Okay, so click on save just, uh, let's see, no, we've already saved it, so I'll click on save just in case. Now, go back to devices and see, smart uh, super user has the full access to everything. Now I'm going to go along to my mobile. Uh, if I so uh, just zoom out a little bit. Swipe. Fibaro app. I already pre-downloaded it. And uh, when you first start it gives you the a bit of information. So you click on OK. I I if you want to send anonymous data you can do if not you don't have to. Click on OK and then you just click on the next screen, which is next. Right, first details we need to enter are the remote access details. This allows us to remotely log in from away from the house, so when we're not on the Wi-Fi network. So for that, we add in our credentials that we would normally add in um, on home.fibaro.com. So the username was Yorkshire Automation. And the password is the password you set. So when I click on done, then I click on OK. It's now checking those details to make sure it's correct, and they are. Then it comes up with the home centers that is recognized in my local network. And it's found my top one is my existing house one. So I'm not going to choose that one. So we're going to choose the second one my test rig and then um, it's going to ask me to log in again. I'm going to use my full super user access. So it's the full email info at Yorkshire Automation. Dot co oh. oh my fingers are too big. So and then a password of course. Then we click on done, then we click on next, and it comes up with that sign that we've successfully connected to the home center. Click on okay, and there it displays all the app itself. This is an old Samsung 4, so the grid is like that. If I click on lights, anything I've designated as lights, you'll be able to see like that. Click on the top left corner to go back onto the main screen. Click on scenes, and you'll be able to see all your scenes that we've created. Again, you have the options of hiding devices, hiding scenes on from the main page. And 
etc so main thing we needed to do is to log in and make sure we've logged in and therefore we've now created a, an ID for for us so therefore we can now send push notifications to this phone um, for any messages we want which we will go to on on the main screen in a second once we've done that we can just leave this alone um, and that's it we don't need the phone anymore for the time being so we'll just go back to the home screen leave that to settle there now now on here back on here just a, a quick one if you do want to hide scenes on your mobile is on the scenes page once you get to the scenes page you click on the spanner icon and here there's a little checkbox which you can do called scene hidden if you click on that scene has been hidden it's still active but not visible in the interface click on OK and then save now if you go click on scenes again as you can see that scene has now disappeared but it's not disappeared it's only disappeared from the screen and that will be reflected on the mobile as well you will be able to see it but only when you click on this tab here show hidden is when it will become visible so you haven't lost it you can still edit it it just makes the interfaces look nice and clean uh, click on panels and notifications panel and then here we would create our notifications so we're going to call this one alarm on but we have to then write it in all of these boxes as well for some reason hit save and also then we need to click on add new and call it alarm off so we just repeat this process Uh, repeat the process and save uh, for simplicity I'm only going to write alarm activated in uh, block scenes this um, that's all we can really do but in lua coding uh, once we uh, you can actually get the scene to be specified as to which Sorry, the uh, the notification ha can specify exactly which scene has triggered the the um, the device. So that's our scenes. Uh, sorry, that's how uh, user created and about users. That's also the panels for the notifications created. Um, so you know what's happening. We'll also create. Um, the scenes now is to create the scenes and we're going to leave that to the next video. Uh, thanks for watching, bye for now.